Welcome. Today I want to talk a little bit about my Travel First Aid Kit. Now, it's evolved over the last couple of years, especially since I had my daughter. And I realized that there are several things in it that are very specific to traveling with children. Things I hadn't even realized that I was going to need. And every time I go somewhere, I think, oh, I need to bring that next time. I put it on a list. So I finally put that list together and then did some reading when I realized I wasn't satisfied with everything that was in that case and put more things together. When I went shopping today to finish filling out my first aid kit, I actually found that there was a deal going on at Target that if you buy three of the uh, first aid items, you actually got a Band-Aid brand case, which I thought was actually kind of neat. It's a um, soft plastic case and it's got a little zipper case and all these little pouches inside, little compartments that you can separate things. I thought it was neat and since I was buying the stuff anyways, I went ahead and picked it up. And so I am going to show you a little bit about how I packed my first aid kit. So what you see here are the bandages that are part of my kit, as well as the pink vial, which is saline solution, and the Q-tips, the little clear vial is eye drops. They have two different types of Neosporin, the spray and the gel, as well as alcohol wipes. And there are some tweezers, nail clippers, and Aquaphor cough drops, two different types of cold medication, one for my husband, one for myself, since I need high blood pressure medication, Tums, digestive, as well as ibuprofen and Excedrin. There are also at the bottom some specific blister bandages for uh, blisters. This is my specific for my purse or diaper bag. I've just got simple stuff, some several different bandages, wet wipes, uh, neosporin type, the antibiotic cream, and blister band-aids. And then what you'll see here is everything all together, which doesn't seem like a lot of stuff. And here is my kit all put together. And there's still room for more and it actually folds up really nice. And it doesn't take up that much room in my bag. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. I actually forgot to include when I first put the video together, the children's Tylenol. Of all things to forget to put into my family travel first aid kit, we use the liquid children's Tylenol and we use the dosage that was suggested by our pediatrician. And I highly suggest that if you have a child under two, you find out from your pediatrician how much they should be taking. So that's everything for me from my first aid kit. Like I said, I'll have a list in the description and I would love to get some feedback from you. Was there something you thought that I was missing? Things that you didn't understand why I would have it in there? Or do you just think it's too many things or not enough? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.